What's up, YouTube? Um, Heretic here. I'm back with another deck profile. Um, this is actually the first deck profile I have done since the banning of Lysander's trump card. In any case, we still have one mega evolution from the Roaring Skies expansion to look at, and that is the one that we're going to cover here today, and that's Mega Gallade. Um, that's this guy right here. Um, for two Psychic and a Colorless, he does 110 damage plus 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has damage counters on it already. So, um, definitely a little more complex, I think, than just sniping for, uh, 120 or just hitting for a lot of damage, which is what, pretty much what the two Rayquazes do. Um, I think there's a little more, uh, strategy that goes into this guy. And we'll see if we can make them good or not. So, anyway, we're going to start out with three Galady X. Uh, we, as you can see, we play the one from the booster pack, not the uh, box promo. Mainly because for one energy, he can swing with uh, the Dimension Valley out for 30 and force a switch out if you, if you so desire on your opponent's end. And then for three Psychic, you, if you can ever manage to get this attack off, uh, piercing prizes, if you have not taken a prize yet, will deal 170 damage, which is enough to knock out a bunch of, uh, a good chunk of regular non-Mega EXs in the game right now. Um, otherwise, it's 50 damage plus 20 more damage for each prize card that you have not taken yet. And then, of course, we play three Mega Gallades as well. Um, so, 3-3 three, three Gallade line. So, we got to find a way to get some damage on the bench. Uh, initially, I thought about Fortress, which when you play it from your hand, evolve it from Pineco, it places one damage counter on each one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, in theory, very good. In reality, not so much. So, we're going to go with Zubat, Crobat. When you evolve them from Zubat, place tw two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, and then... Golbat, and then Crobat, which places three damage counters when you play it. Uh, this might not seem quite as efficient as Fortress, but it has a lot more advantages to it, I believe. Um, first and foremost, uh, if, if you really need to attack, uh, you can use the attacks of these guys. Um, really, even Zubat, because with the Va Dimension Valley down, the one Psychic will give you Wing Attack. Uh, Golbat and Crobat, Dimension Valley down, no energy cost required. Uh, Golbat's attack can also basically do the same thing as Fortress ability. Um, and Crobat, just a 30 snipe, pretty much the same thing as its ability is. Um, they also all have Free Retreat, which is the other big thing, uh, Zubat by its ability. Whereas Pineco and Fortress are giant Lysander targets and can be kind of a pain to get out of the active spot. These guys work a lot more have a lot more fl fluidity with the, with the deck. Um, so 3-3-2 three, three, Crobat line. 2 Shame and EX for draw power. Um, not really enough room in this deck to play 4 copies. Um, but, you know, that that's okay. With the trump card gone, I don't know if people... I mean, I, I'm sure plenty of people will still play 4, especially in Rayquaza and Seismitoad and whatever. But this is just... Uh, one of those cards that I feel like is good to have in the deck, but that you don't absolutely need four copies, like some people might think. Uh, we also play a Jirachi EX, because searching supporters can be good as well. Not all supporters are draw cards, ladies and gentlemen. Lysander says what's up. Um, so anyway, we got four Professor Sycamores, two N's, an AZ, which is our big tech supporter of the deck. Uh... Heavily damaged Mega Glade, come back to hand. Uh, Crobat or Golbat, we can reuse the abilities. Same goes for Jirachi and Shaman. Ability reusage, you know, because Golbat, Crobat, Shaman, and Jirachi all gain their abilities when they're played from hand, so being able to reuse those is always very good. Uh, one Colrus for uh, a little additional draw power. Also, the fact that if you're going up against a Skyfield deck, you could draw potentially more than 10 cards. Not something you usually want to count on, but it's just another shuffle draw option if you have a bunch of evolutions in your hand that you don't feel like throwing away. 
And then rounding off our supporters, we have two Lysanders. As I said, not all supporters are draw supporters. AZ and Lysander would be the case in this deck. Um, just being able to bring up whatever you want and KO it. Um, and then try to spread some damage to the bench. Uh, another thing worth noting is that Gallade's first attack does the 30 damage and has the option of where you can force your opponent to choose one of their bench Pokemon to switch out to active. Sending a damaged Pokemon to the bench, aiding Mega Gallade's ability to use Unwavering Blade for bench damage. Of course, a Mr. Mime just screws that whole thing up anyway, but that's just something you kind of have to deal with. Um... We play four Dimension Valleys, make sure you win that Stadium War. One energy for the 30 damage for that first attack on Gallade. Free attacks from Golbat and Crobat, and two Psychic Energies for the cost on Mega Glade's attack. Really just seems a lot better when you don't have to pay that third energy. Um, item cards, We've got four versus Seekers. Get back Supporters because that's usually pretty good. Play four super scoop ups, just like AZ, curing a damage to Glade, bring Bats, Shaman, or Jirachi back to hand for reuse, or just using it as a switch. Uh, three Ultra Ball to search Pokemon out, it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, three Trainer's Mail, because the card is just ridiculous, and if, I feel like just about every deck should be playing that right now. Uh, only two copies of Mega Turbo. Reason for that being that this card can really clog up your hand early game, and I'd prefer not to take chances with that. Also, with Galate only, as long as you have the Stadium out, Galate only needing two energies to do its attack, it's a little easier to charge up, so a little bit of slack there. But still running the two copies because it is that good of a card. Um, and then one computer search to get, to get whatever you need because it's just, yeah, that's just good. Uh, three Gallade Spirit Links to evolve to Mega Evolve and not end your turn. And then we play four Mystery Energy, which any of the Psychic types in this deck, I mean, the Bats already retreat for free, the Gallades will retreat for free with this attached. And then we play five Basic Psychic Energies to round out the deck. Um, so some uh, positive and negative matchups here. Um, I feel like anything running Mr. Mime is pretty much gonna have this is gonna have trouble because it's not gonna be able to capitalize on the uh, bench damage part of Mega Gallade's attack. Uh, other psychic type based decks like the ghost ones specifically that don't have weakness right back. Uh, stuff like Gengar and Trevenant um, could definitely pose a problem here if you can't deal enough damage quickly enough. And I mean also you know just kind of like heavy hitting stuff like Rayquaza that just if it blows up right away. I mean, you can try to force them into a deck out situation with AZ, four VS Seekers, and four Super Scoop Ups, but um, usually an opponent will be smart enough to know, hey, I'm about to deck out. But who knows? Uh, with Lysander's trump card gone, this definitely uh, opens up some doors, I think, for some decks to either emerge or re-emerge. This is just kind of a nifty little deal. Um, I feel like some of the cards in the format might hinder this deck a little bit, but if you can make it work, I think it's definitely at least a good league play deck, you know, just, just for fun. Um, I've tried it out on a few occasions. Uh, you can also just play Crobafet. You can just thicken the Crobat line and then just play like Quad Wobbuffet and just drop like the Shamans and the Jirachi. Um, that's a pretty good counter to, right now to colorless mega ray and other stuff but this is really just a fun deck to play and if you're looking for something new uh, go ahead and give it a try um that's about all i've got for you guys right now and i will be back hopefully very soon with more videos um i, haven't, I know i haven't done a trade binder video in a while and uh should have some more stuff coming your way as well so uh, stay tuned cheers